Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of generating additive and multiplicative patterns. This is standard 5.4c in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 3 off the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a graph here that shows y equals x plus 1 and 5 tenths. So that's going to give us an additive pattern here. And we need to find a table that contains only values that represent the rule, which means we don't really need the graph. We're going to need to match this equation with each of these values. We're going to use a strategy called substitution. So what we will do is let's go ahead and start with a. And we will start with this y equals, I'll put it up here, equals x plus 1.5. And let's start with this, let's start with that right there. So we're going to take our x, we're going to say x equals 0. And we're going to look to see, do we get to that y? So y equals, I'm going to replace the x with a 0, because that's what this first a 0 says plus 1.5, so we know that, hmm, that's not looking like it's going to be good. y equals 1.5, but this table says y should equal 0. But y doesn't equal 0, y starts right up here at 1.5, which means a is not going to work for us. So let's try again with b, and you know what, before we even try again with b, Look, I'm seeing the same problem. They're wanting you to start at the origin, which is 0, 0, but we don't start at the origin. So before we even try that, let's move past A and B. Oh, take a look at C and D. Look, we get Y is 1.5. That's what we need. All right, which means it might possibly be C or D, which means we're going to need to go to the next level. So let's look at this next one here. So let's say y equals x plus 1.5. In this case, we're going to make x equals 1. Let's let x equal 1. And so we're going to substitute y equals 1 plus 1.5. I took that 1, put it in there where the x is. And so 1 plus 1.5 equals 2.5. Five. Looks like we are extremely close, but not where we need to be. So it doesn't look like we're good here. It does look like we're good here. So, so far our first two are good. Let's go ahead and see if we can check. We've got a, a plus 1.5, plus 1.5 looking good there. Let's look at this next one. Let's see y equals x plus 1.5, and in this case we're going to make x equal 2. And so let's substitute in that 2 right there. We're going to say 2 plus 1.5. 2 plus 1.5 is going to be 3.5. That is looking good. So we're good right there. Two more to check, and we will be finished to make sure that d is correct. So we're going to say y equals x plus 1.5. Let's let x equal 3. And so say y equals 3 plus 1.5. y equals 4.5. Yep, good to go there. That's going to be a plus 1.5. Notice the pattern breaks here. Look at this right here. The pattern breaks. And so it's not 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. It goes up to 9. So let's see if that pattern holds. So y equals x plus 1.5. We're going to let x equal 9. y equals 9 plus 1.5. So that's going to be y equals 10.5. Yep, that is still looking good, even though we broke the pattern. So our answer is D.